So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I wanted to dive into today includes a new update for PlayStation 5 social features that kind of went under the radar, a new PS5 gameplay uh, upgrade feature, and The Last of Us Factions 2, my baby as you guys already know, Potentially is getting new hires. We're going to get into that. First, yes or no, do you have a Nintendo Switch or not? This isn't related to today's video. I've asked about if you guys have PCs or Xboxes before, but I'm not, I've never asked you about the Switch. So I'm curious if any of you have a Nintendo Switch like myself. I've had one since launch. So comment below, yes or no, if you have a Nintendo Switch or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, Factions 2. So, the sequel to one of my favorite multiplayer games ever made uh, has a turbulent history, as, as I've talked about before. It was originally meant to be a part of The Last of Us Part 2. That split off in 2019 and broke my heart back then. It became its own game, not a part of The Last of Us 2, but will follow a new group of characters. Then, every year after 2019, we just kept getting told that they needed more time, which I'm not against. Take the time that you need. But but after four years of nothing but telling us to take uh, that they that they need more time and we need to wait, have patience, and only, the only thing we got in terms of visuals were, were two concept arts, I was kind of worried as to what was going on with the project. Fast forward to earlier this year, Jason Schreier dropped a big supposed leak stating that Bungie, who Sony bought to use their skills to help make great online games as a service titles that are being developed at other uh, studios under PlayStation, they went to Naughty Dog and basically let them know that their game didn't have long-term engagement, according to the article. According to Jason, uh, the Factions 2 team was downscaled and moved to other projects under Naughty Dog, and a skeleton, uh, a skeleton team was left for Factions 2 to reassess the project. I connected with Jeff Grubb not, after, not long after, uh, joking, asking him to share his information for Factions 2 because he seemed to have something, and he actually did share it, which is that Factions 2 was originally going to be shown at the PlayStation Showcase earlier this year, but because of the Bungie situation, it was pulled back they have the game showcase ready <laughs> showcase ready right now learning this it it, 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 it broke me man it, it, it kind of hurt uh, fast forward to now naughty dog seems to be quietly hiring uh, for multiplayer, they have a new job posting for a senior UI designer, and in the bonus features section, it states, experience developing multiplayer games. This was interesting to read, and considering the game was showcase ready, I'd assume most of it is done. It was the UI, one of the things Bungie suggested needing changes. Uh, considering lead editor at Naughty Dog Samuel Prince kind of hinted that players should take Jason Schreier's article on Naughty Dog and Factions 2 with a grain of salt, I'm hoping that most of the game is done and they needed more time to reassess some of the higher level stuff, not a deep rework of the game, taking in that they're hiring a UI designer to potentially help with this, potentially. Uh, let's hope we get an update uh, in regards to Factions 2 at the Last of Us Day 2023, which is in September, a few months away, I, I just need to know where is the game at at this point? Got one, Taurus! That one's dead! Now, diving into the second story of the video, PS5 gameplay upgrade. Reading from Gaming Bolt, while patents have often offered a window into potential ideas that companies might be considering that might not necessarily be to players liking from uh, in-game advertisements to various usage of NFTs in games, often they also bring glimpses of some ideas that do sound much more intriguing. A new patent filed by Sony discovered by Segment Next certainly falls in the latter category. The patent describes a method for real-time in-game gaming assistance that players can seek from experts, quote-unquote experts, <laughs> should they find themselves stuck in the game. As the patent describes, should such a situation ever arise, this method will try and connect players with experts who can help them progress further, or in case no experts are available, show them gameplay videos. The idea here in a nutshell seems to be better integrating the exercise of 
looking up guides and walkthroughs while you're playing a game without having to need to switch devices to look them up. Sony has implemented similar ideas of late, such as uh, with the PS5's game help mechanic, so it would make sense to see them try and further emphasize a similar feature. So this could be a useful feature, but I don't know how well it'll work to connect players with supposed experts to pass a section in a game, almost like call support for gaming. I personally think Sony needs to implement some type of AI that gathers the useful information on the internet, you know, the, the general stuff people look up for uh, when they're stuck in a section and maybe have a pin app that gets pinned alongside your game with that information so people just don't have to look it up themselves or just have an ai that you can just ask questions and that ai will you know gather that information from the internet you know a better implementation would also be if sony uh gave you a hint notification if you click uh, if you click on the home button it'll show uh, how to get past the, the the section you're at so you don't even have to go to a pin app or you could pin it afterwards but you know you're going to a section you're stuck in a location and then a, a little hint pops up hey you, you you seem stuck here uh how, here's how to help and then a pin app appears and gets pinned to the side and then it'll show you that information i think both of those are kind of uh, better than connecting with an expert but that's just how i see it but you guys let me know if you want to connect with an expert to help you progress your game or not let me know down in the comments below And now diving into the final story of the video, a new update for PlayStation 5 social features that went under the radar. So I use the PlayStation app on my phone pretty often, whether I'm starting a game up or checking the store, looking through PlayStation Plus titles, seeing who's online, sending messages, etc. It's a, it's a quick way to access a lot of the features available on your PlayStation 5, but just on the go. Sony has now included one other useful feature from the PlayStation 5 social side to the PlayStation app. Update 26.6.2 states this on the App Store, friends who play. Now you can check which of your friends have a game before and after your purchase. So this is a pretty useful feature in my opinion to see who has what on PlayStation 5 without asking them directly when you're searching up titles. You just know, all right, this game, these guys have it. Maybe we can play it together in terms of multiplayer. This one they haven't touched, so maybe we can check that out together since none of us have played it. Stuff like that. I'm not sure why this wasn't added to the app for so long, but at last is here. That's all that really matters. When you're searching up titles on the PlayStation app, click on the game, scroll down that page, and you'll see a section for friends who play you can click on that and get an entire list of friends that play this game you're searching up right now that's a, a nice useful change uh, on the app in my opinion but you guys let me know if you use the playstation app often or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps to subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is the body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with it is a new week it's a new week for potential uh, gaming information gaming news leaks rumors it's always exciting to start a, a new week when it comes to gaming um and also this week we should be getting the playstation plus extra games on wednesday and it's always crazy how many great games have been landing on the service i can't keep up with these games on playstation plus especially when i buy games myself so it should be an interesting week if you're excited for the week ahead destroy the comment section with it is a new week and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one